ladies and gentlemen, thank you for attending the Occidental Life Training. It's my pleasure to introduce our presenter, Malcolm Gladwell said, the key to achieving true expertise in any skill is a matter of practicing for 10,000 hours, and you can bet this guy has done it with this industry. If there was ever a major motion picture about the insurance industry, rest assured, this man would be the main character. He is not only a mentor and a colleague to me, but also I'm happy to call him my friend. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our presenter, Mr. J.R. Jordan. Wow, buddy. I don't even know how to begin after that. Um, thank you very much for the introduction. I am honored to be here. Uh, you're a true friend. Um, this this is a great opportunity. So so thank you again for the for the awesome introduction. I'm laughing a little bit. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here. Um, I know how valuable your time is. I am not going to waste it at all. Uh, my name is J.R. Jordan. I am with CBS Insurance, and we are going to talk about the term made simple today. Um, I have been in the industry basically since I was born. I'm third generation. I started out in the supply room, and for a little over 25 years now, I've been trying to help uh, brokers and clients uh, do the next right thing every single time. So this is the term made simple plan through Occidental Life Insurance Company. And it really is a fantastic plan. It is a very simple plan. And you'll hear me say that more than once. I'm also going to be going over our senior choice plan, which is a final expense plan. And then a little bit more to make sure that this uh, recording and this training is nice and robust. More importantly, um, myself, my staff, our office, we all work for you. And so you're going to be, be provided with all of our information at the end of this presentation. So again, thank you so much. It's Good Friday. Let's rock and roll this presentation, get back to work, and then uh, take some much needed R&R &R with our friends and our families. Term made simple. Term life insurance with 10, 15, 20, and 30 year level premium periods. Um, it's a simple plan and enrollments. Again, I'm gonna say simple a couple of times today. Short form application. Uh, for those of you that still do paper, we can find it and mail it to you. For everyone else, we do e-apps, no exam, blood work, or HOS. Um, the we, on all of them, we do a MIB, which is Medical Information Bureau. <clears throat> we do a pharmacy check and we do an MVR, which is actually performed in minutes because the term made simple has point of sale underwriting decisions. So you can actually find out right then and there whether it's an accept or reject. And we issue this plan standard through table four. So it, for those of you that don't know, what that means is it is a very, very liberal underwriting guideline, and we issue a lot of business. Now, again, I've been in the insurance industry for ever, uh, some would say. And so when we develop a product, when we bring a product to market, we are only going to bring the very best. So when you'll see on our life option here, it's also convertible up to age 75 to any whole life plan issued by the company without evidence of insurability. I'm not as healthy as I was 20 years ago, and I don't know many people that are. As we get older, our health declines, insurability goes down. On this plan, you're, you can convert it without any evidence of insurability up to age 75. And that's fantastic. Additionally, it is annually renewable to age 95 after the selected term period. So if they got a 10, 20, uh, 30 year uh, term or a 15 year term and they outlive their term and they wanna keep it, they can. Um, that's a great feature at the same time, it's gonna be expensive. Right. So, so I'll tell you that right now on an annually renewable basis, but at least they have that option. Now, folks, how do we quote? How do we quote right here? 
Uh, very, very simple. And you're going to get, once you get contracted with us, you get a couple different emails, you get a couple different phone calls, and you get a packet in the mail. We're old school, brochures, welcome letter, all that kind of good stuff. So for those of you that are like, I got to take notes on all this. I got to write it down. I need to take pictures of my screen. It's all good. We work for you. Again, once you get contracted with us, you're going to get several emails. You're going to get a lot of this information and you're going to get a kit in the mail. But we do have easy ways for you to quote your clients to make sure you are delivering. So there's a phone quote, fast quotes. There is the OccidentalLife.com if you want to do a really nice illustration. And uh, in the mail, you will actually get rate guides. So you'll have those. You'll also get an email with those uh, in a PDF to you. And last but not least, if you are going to just do the application and do the quote from there, InsuranceApplication.com. And again, we will teach you all of this. So like I said, there are four attractive term durations to choose from, 10, 15, 20, or 30 years. There's attractive optional riders that I will go over. And yes, there is a critical illness rider. This plan is 50,000 to 500,000, non-medical coverage. 50K to 500K, non-medical, accept or reject, point of sale underwriting decision. So you can literally find out within minutes. And the plan isn't just life insurance. It just isn't a, a, a term plan. It also comes with no cost riders automatically included to make this plan a robust life insurance and living benefit plan. There is a terminal illness writer, a confined care writer, and a chronic illness writer. They're included in a lot of states at no additional cost. And we'll go over those, don't worry. So right here, this is our policy specs, and you'll see what the issue ages are, their last birthday, and what term they can qualify for. So if they want to get the 10 year level term, they can be 18 to 75, 15 years, 18 to 70, 20 years, 18 to 65, 30 year is 18 to 55. Again, the minimum is 50,000 or $20 a month, whatever is greater. And the maximum is $500,000. We have three premium rate classes, Preferred non-tobacco, standard non-tobacco, and standard tobacco. And ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you that uh, underwriting is just absolutely fantastic with Occidental. If you write your client a standard non-tobacco, if they see that they can qualify for the preferred, they will automatically put them in the preferred plan. We do have separate underwriting guidelines for preferred. So if you are writing your clients and you are writing them on a preferred rate class, make sure that you are following those underwriting guidelines. And last but not least on that topic, ladies and gentlemen, I like to uh, under promise and over deliver. If you write your client standard and they qualify for preferred, they're going to be happy. If you write your clients preferred and they get knocked down to standard, it's going to be the opposite. Keep that in mind. Now, this is the height and weight guideline, and I told you it's liberal. At six foot, you can be up to 306 pounds, male or female. So... Folks are going to qualify for this plan. I'll give you a moment to look here. And again, everybody will get this. Now, here's our optional riders. The most popular is our critical illness rider. Obviously, critical illness is a huge, important component uh, of life insurance, in my personal opinion, um, and a lot of other professional opinions. 
It's money when you need it the most. Ladies and gentlemen, half of all of us are going to get cancer at one point in our life, unfortunately. Half of us, male or fem female. Every 45 to 60 seconds, there's a heart attack and or stroke. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been doing this a very, very long time. And I can tell you that a uh, couple of things are certain. Um, and critical illnesses are almost, almost a certainty um, in, in today's age, unfortunately. On this plan, you can actually get a 25, 50 or 100 percent critical illness benefit. So you can choose and you can quote whatever works for your client. It also gives you the ability to toggle with that premium. All right. So if you write somebody a 30 year term with a hundred percent critical illness writer, that premium is going to be X. If you take that same person and write them a 10 year term with a 25% critical illness writer, that premium is going to be a lot less expensive. So you're able to toggle back and forth to meet the needs of your clients. Now, obviously, there's a DI writer waiver of premium for both DI and unemployment, a children's insurance agreement, and an ADB, accidental death benefit. Out of all of these writers, what do what do I prefer? What what do I focus on? Well, critical illness all day, every day. I believe everybody should have it. ADB, accidental death benefit, if they're, they're not maximizing that face amount. Maybe they're a little bit older. They, they need more coverage. And DI Rider, if it's right for them, I'm just going to take a look at their situation and really see. But critical illness, almost every time, uh, you need to push for it every, every single time. Now, these are the no-cost riders, ladies and gentlemen. These are the riders that are automatically included in the plan no cost. It's already embedded, right? Yes, everything has a cost, but in this case, it's already embedded. So there's no additional cost. How about we say it that way? There is a terminal illness accelerated benefit rider, ladies and gentlemen. They can elect to receive up to 100% of the death benefit when diagnosed with a life expectancy of 24 months or less and 12 months in those states right there. So True living insurance, that is another benefit trigger. There is an accelerated benefits rider for confined care. Triggered if insured becomes a full-time permanent resident in a nursing home. They can elect to receive a fixed monthly payment equal to 2.5% of their policy face amounts. Not available in those states. The max on that is five grand a month. But think about that. You have a life insurance policy, right? You are now confined. You're a permanent resident in a nursing home. And you let's say your life insurance policy is 200 grand and you want to take two and a half percent, five grand a month. That is going to help pay, if not pay, for that nursing home. I mean, that's another amazing benefit that's automatically included. There's a chronic illness accelerated benefit rider. You can get up to 95% or a maximum of 150,000 if you're chronically ill. That means you cannot perform two out of the six activities of daily living. And if you don't have those, I can share them with you. No problem. But these are all triggers, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, basic life insurance, basic life insurance without any riders is death insurance right? It does not pay the insured. It pays the beneficiary in this state upon death. So life insurance, as we knew it before, is death insurance. When you add critical illness, when you have terminal illness accelerated benefit riders, when you have confined care riders, when you have chronic illness accelerated death benefit riders, now we're talking about true living coverage. Now we're talking about benefits that pay the clients when they need that money the most. And I'm going to get real with you, ladies and gentlemen. I told you half of all men cancer, half of all women cancer every 45 to 60 seconds, a heart attack and or stroke. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Um, you know, my father passed away from cancer, a cancer that nowadays people are fighting. I mean, they're living. It's no longer just flat out terminal. Let me also tell you, everybody on this phone knows somebody that's had a heart attack, stroke, or cancer. Okay? All of those folks, every single one of them would have rather received a big fat check rather than a get well card. And I know it sounds funny, but it's true. I mean, we're all taught from a young age, or at least I was, and I know that society tries to teach us, buy health insurance, have health insurance, get health insurance. Well, shoot, get health insurance, but if you can't afford a $5,000 or $7,500 deductible along with coinsurance, how are you going to use that health insurance? I think it's something like 80% of our population doesn't have $500 in a savings account. How are they going to satisfy a $7,500 deductible plus coinsurance? And let's not even think about that for ladies and gentlemen. Let's not think about the medical bills. Imagine you had a heart attack, stroke, or cancer. And I know this stinks, but hey, we're in the business of reality. So I wanted to hit you for a moment. You had a heart attack, stroke, or cancer. And you have the best medical insurance in the world because you're, you're in the business. So awesome. But who's going to pay your car payment, your mortgage payment, rent, whatever it may be, clothes on the kid's back, shoes on their feet, gas in the car who's going to keep your lights on your electricity your your gas ladies and gentlemen who's going to pay your everyday bills if or should i say when you have a critical illness I, I, i'm not trying to scare you i just want i want you to see how, how how important it is to you so you can pass that along to your clients right everybody has a mobile app right now where they can look up their bill pay so after this meeting, go ahead and look up yours. And if you're not making enough money when you see that number, sell more insurance. But the point I want to make to you, ladies and gentlemen, is this. Look at everything you've spent money on in the last week, in the last day, in the last 30 days. And imagine, just think, if you had a heart attack, stroke, or cancer, out of all of those things that you spent money on, what would your health insurance pay for? When you stopped at the gas station, when you went to Starbucks, when you went to Chipotle, when you paid your rent, when you paid your cell phone, when you paid your mortgage, when you bought your kids new shoes or new laces, whatever, out of all those things, what does your major medical pay for? It's zero, by, by the way, zero. So critical illness insurance, true living insurance, money when you need it the most. Death insurance is yesterday, right? We're talking true true living insurance. So underwriting, again, through table four, um, it's the application in information. Uh, there is a telephone interview, but that is a spot check on folks that are 65 plus. Uh, Medical for Informations Bureau, there is a pharmacy database check, MVR, clients build. Again, you saw it's six foot. They can be up to 306 pounds, male or female. Um, so it's standard rates. We're either going to accept it or we're going to reject it. There's no in between. Now, here's a summary of the term made simple, ladies and gentlemen, no medical exam. Yes or no app. It's less than two pages. It's all electronic. It's intuitive. It's so awesome. It's easy. It's old school and easy, right? Simple. Up to half a million dollars of coverage. You got four level premium plans. You have optional CI and DI riders. Confined care, chronic, terminal illness. They're included at no cost. Check your state. The plan is convertible to whole life without evidence of insurability. After the level premium period, the policy can, kept, can be kept to age 95. And again, when you work with companies like AHCP and HST and the inside of this family, and it truly is a family, you're going to get the best premiums. You're going to get the best compensation. And, and again, no telephone interview required on those under the age of 65. And, and that was the term made simple, ladies and gentlemen. So that's the term made simple. 
again, it's a lot. You took in a lot in 21 minutes. And, and wait, there's more. Uh, but there is more. So, you know, don't don't uh, don't get worried. Again, you're going to get all this stuff in the mail, the email, all that. As long as you get contracted with us, we are going to work for you to earn your business. This is our senior choice plan. It's a final expense plan. Um, it's whole life insurance. Issue ages 50 to 85. It is not guaranteed issue, but it is a very, very liberal underwriting right ladies and gentlemen this is for the folks that really need life insurance they didn't buy it when they were younger they didn't buy it when they were healthy or you know they've always had some type of health issue now remember all the people that you're selling term made simple to they have parents right and if those parents are still alive senior choice okay at this you know because if you're getting the children and they trust you and they're giving you their financial information for the, the term made simple, ask them if their parents have coverage, affordable coverage, coverage that's gonna take care of their final expenses, right? The kids don't wanna be left holding the bag. There, there's better ways to say that, by the way. All right, so anybody you're selling the term made simple to, you can actually get referrals to their parents. At the same time, anybody you're selling the senior choice to, if you got to them first, you can get referrals to their children, because if they like you and trust you, they're going to they're going to introduce you to their kids and you want to know their kids anyway. For anybody that's done any amount of business in the senior market, if the, you have the blessing of the family, the policy is going to stay on the books. So this is the senior choice final expense. Again, it's meant for final expenses. It's simplified whole life, non-medical. Issue age is 50 to 85. Minimum face amount is 2,500. There are three options available, ladies and gentlemen. Um, there's an immediate death benefit. It goes up to 35 grand. A graded death benefit that has a maximum of 20,000 and a return of premium death benefit that has a maximum of 20000 as well. Um, I will explain each of these to you in a couple slides. And even on our return of premium, ours is amazing. The way that it is structured, you will see it. There's a lot of ROP plans uh, on, on final expense that I won't even look at. This is uh, truly a game changer here. We have riders available. There's a grandchild rider. There's a nursing home waiver of premium. There's ADB. There's a terminal illness rider that no additional costs, just like we talked about on, on the term made simple. And there's that confined care rider again. So we added those two. They were on the term made simple. We added them here as well, because uh, those are just really, really great benefits. Uh, those are included at no additional cost. Now, ladies and gentlemen, grandchild rider, it's an awesome benefit for the grandchildren. Plus, it's a game changer. It's a persistency keeper. Um, there's not too many plans in the marketplace uh, that offer a grandchild rider. So if you're able to do that when the next agent comes in to blow out your piece of business and they don't have that grandchild rider, um, they're not going to switch because you have the grand grandkids covered. And also ADB. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a final expense plan. There's two things that are going to happen for those of you that are selling life insurance or intend to sell life insurance. There's people, they call you and they want the biggest plan possible uh, for the cost of a Burger King value meal. Um, you know, they want a huge term plan and they can't afford it. They can't qualify. A lot of times they can't qualify. And so you have to pivot over to a final expense plan because of health reasons. And when a person finds out that 35,000 is the max, they want more. So the ADB accidental death benefit is a great rider for that. Now, this goes over the three different death benefits. There is the immediate death benefit. There is the graded death benefit. And there is the return of premium death benefit. And what you'll see on here is the way that they work. 
uh, because it is, it's very simple, right? For somebody to qualify immediate, if they're 50 to 75, they can get up to 35 grand. If they're 76 to 85, they can get up to 20,000. Um, for death, it's any time, full face amount, right? Because it's an immediate coverage. For graded, the people that are a little bit more uh, on the unhealthy side, 50 to 85 issue ages, maximum coverage, 20 grand. If they die during the first policy year, their, their uh, beneficiary will get 30% of the face amount. During the second policy year, 70% of the face amount. And after the second policy year, 100% of the face amount. Now, um, on here, you'll also see we have return of premium. And the return of premium, this, this is a really, really great benefit because the folks that qualify for this, they're not going to really qualify for anything else. Either 50 to 64, 65 to 85, the maximum face amounts are 20,000 for both. But when death occurs, is a little bit different. So if they're 50 to 64, if it's during the first three policy years, the estate will get the premiums paid plus 10%. If it's after the third policy year, the estate will actually get the full face amount of the policy. So it's not a return of premium at that point, the full face amount. Now, uh, from 65 to 85, the older ages, it's less of a waiting period. So it's a huge positive for your clients. During the first two policy years, premium paid plus 10% interest. And after the second policy year, it's the full face amount of the policy. So that's a fantastic benefit. As you can see here, uh, the height and weight guide is even more liberal. So uh, it's six foot immediate for up to 324. So very, very, very liberal. Now, this is going to tell you what you need to know when it comes to, I mean, and this is really, I, I love this because it makes it so simple. How do you determine, right, um, what your client should get, right? Should they get um, immediate so should they get no coverage, right? So this is simple. When you do the application online, it's also intuitive. So it's gonna tell you from there as well. So if they're not eligible for coverage, if they answer yes to the first three questions, all right? If they answer no, proceed. If they answer yes to questions four through seven, they should apply for return of premium. If they answer no, Proceed on question number eight, and, and this is the, the final one. The applicant, if they answer yes, the applicant should apply for graded. If they apply no, go to immediate. So it's really simple, walks you through. And again, our app online walks you through as well. This is the plan acceptance checkbox. You're with a client, you're going for an immediate plan. You know there's a possibility that they'll get graded or even ROP. You explain that to the client. They accept that and click the box. They'll accept whatever plan they get approved for. Some people use it. Some people don't. Personally, I do not use this, right? And I, there's going to be haters. There always are. If I sell somebody an immediate plan, even though I told them there's a possibility of graded, when that plan comes back, if it's not immediate, if it is graded, I want to make sure that I am the person that delivers that news and explains to them why. I want them to know. I want to keep the policy on the books. I want to make sure they know what they have. And if there's a problem, if there's an issue, if there's a way that I can mitigate it or we can talk to underwriting, I want to find that out too. That's just me. It's up to you. Now there's optional riders. Again, there is that grandchild rider that we talked about. Um, it also covers great grandchildren. There is a nursing home waiver of premium. There is a children's insurance agreement. There is accidental death benefit. The two most popular are the grandchild and the accidental death benefit. I never do a children's insurance agreement. If I'm selling them this plan, 
I'm going to try to sell their child a term made simple. Now, our no cost writers, just like you saw before, ladies and gentlemen, just like you saw before, there's a terminated illness accelerated benefit writer. If they have a life expectancy of 12 months or less, or 24 months in Illinois and Washington, I don't know why in those two, they can get the full face amount of the policy. There's also confined care. On this, it's doubled to 5%. You Before you saw it's 2.5. Here it's 5% because they're lower face amounts. If they become a full-time permanent resident in a nursing home, they can elect to receive a fixed monthly payment equal to 5% of the policy face amount. Simple underwriting. No medical exams or blood work required. Single page app. We do an MIB check, pharmacy database check. Telephone interview um, for all sales except for ROP. Again, they do what they can there. Um, liberal, as you can saw, liberal, liberal build chart. Uh, as you can see, there is no MVR. So there is no MVR check done on the, the senior choice plan. Drafting along with Social Security. This is huge. And if you want to keep your business on the books, you will do this. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you can look at it here and memorize it. Or when you do the app, it's intuitive. You can click on drafting with Social Security and it will walk you through it. So right here, I want you to take this down, ladies and gentlemen, because we pride ourselves on service. We pride ourselves on working for you. You can take down all those email addresses. Please take down that telephone number. Uh, I'll say it out loud, 888-455-7462. Once again, 888-455-7462. My email address is easy, jr at cbsinsurance.net. Once again, jr at cbsinsurance.net. I do want to show you uh, a couple other things before uh, we jump into questions, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm working from my MacBook. So just give me a moment to uh, pull up everything that I want to show here. I have some power statements. I have a document that I call setting the stage and managing expectations. And I have a document called the first or 31st. Um, feel very strongly about these. So these have been created over a, a long period of time. I think it's going to help everyone uh, quite a bit. So let me go ahead and pull these up right now. <clears throat> So uh, always difficult to do a uh, presentation from a MacBook, but uh, why not give it a try, right? Let's see here. Just one second, ladies and gentlemen. So let me answer some questions while we're doing this. Um, we have, what if they live after 85? Uh, that's fine. That, those were just the issue ages on the plan. 50 and 85 were just the issue ages. Um, John asked a great question. How are you, John? It's been too long. Um, when is the term policy eligible to be converted to a whole life? They can actually do that when, whenever they want, uh, as long as they do it prior to the age of 75. Benefits this bill. Uh, we can actually do a list bill for group benefits, Tom. That is a great question. Uh, we have a couple options for that. So um, <clears throat> he asked that's for, for group sales. And we have several options for that, Tom. So I, I'd love to speak with you in more detail on that. 
Um, that is a that is a great question. Let me go ahead and pull up, <clears throat> share my screen, and then I'll go to my desktop, and then from my desktop, because like I told you, this is a lot of fun doing it this way. Um, I'm going to show you a couple things that I want you to see. So first or thirty first, ladies and gentlemen. Um, <clears throat> Bottom line is there's no such thing as an exclusive lead. I hate to break it to you. For those of you that think there is, you know why? Because we can't control human behavior. As an individual, I can go on 14 different sites and put my information in 14 different sites. So although I might be exclusive to one lead company and they're selling it one time, right? And they're a good quality lead company. I could have put my information everywhere. So you have to differentiate yourself. Power statements, you know, asserting yourself, mastering your game. Hi, this is JR. I don't know if I'm the first or 31st, but I know I'm the best. You recently acquired about some insurance and I am here to help. That's my intro. I do it whether I am making outbound calls or have incoming calls. Hi, this is JR with HST. Hi, this is JR with AHCP. I don't know if I'm the first or 31st. I know I'm the best. You're probably having a lot of people. I mean, I can't even imagine your phone. Let me take care of your insurance coverage for you. I just need to ask a couple questions to get started. I don't jump into these questions right here. I jump into what I call bread and butter. Are we looking for insurance for yourself or your family? Are we looking for co-pays, doctor biz? All I, I try to find out the bread and butter, the meat of the medical plan that they need. And then I go into these right here. Okay. And we can we can follow up on that full training uh, again on a separate webinar, a more sales webinar. Uh, but on that. You know, I can show you how to do the bread and butter here. And ladies and gentlemen, at that point, we are talking to clients. All right, let me get you a quote. You know, I worked with thousands of people just like you. I'm an insurance company liaison. Um, so I'll, I'll go over those power statements with you as well. But, you know, the first four questions here are about critical illnesses. Do they know somebody? How is that person's life affected? If they had a critical illness, do they want to check or get well card, right? I want to give them that check. They're all yes answers. You know, then the next ones are all about accident. They're all yes answers because everybody knows somebody's had an accident. They all had to go to a doc in the box or an urgent care or an ortho or a chiropractor, right? So I get them talking. I'm real with them. Right. I want to provide the best possible coverage at the best possible price. And I'm going to tell them about the gaps. I'm going to tell them what's missing and how I'm going to mitigate as much of that as humanly possible. So maybe, you know, after I get that bread and butter, a lot of us, right after they tell us what kind of plan they're individual or family, co-pays, doctor visits, you know all of that, their budget, we automatically know what base, what core medical plan, whether it's going to be a limited medical, whether, you know, on exchange, off exchange, all that. We automatically know. And if you've been doing long enough, you have an idea of what the premium is going to be. I don't tell them right then. I let them know that I'm doing a quote, you know, that we worked with, we work with every major company in the industry and I work with thousands of clients. It's just going to take a moment to get a good quality quote. And at that time, I start asking these questions. And then when I deliver a quote, I deliver a quote that has medical, has critical illness and has accident already included in the quote. And if they want dental, that's in there too. And then when I go over the benefits of the plan with them, I go over them backwards. All of the best first, right? I start talking about the critical illness plan and it's going to pay him this and that and this. I start talking about the accident plan, maybe the dental plan and the medical plan. And I start talking about the, the holes that they'll have in that medical plan. But that's why you need the critical illness. But that's why you need the accident plan. You know, 
And I, and I go over their plan, the quote that I gave them. That's why if you have a heart attack, stroke, or cancer, you'll get a check for $22,000, you know, in this example. You, so, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, I make it real. I get them talking and I make it real because uh, just like you on this call, they need to understand that the medical plan that they're buying is so much more uh, than what they think it is and how they treat it. And, and let me discuss that for a second so you understand what I'm talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, almost every single person I'd imagine on this call has bought a car. And when you bought it, you knew the year, the make, the mileage, uh, two-door, four-door, the interior, the exterior. You knew everything about that car, humanly possible. You knew the date of the month that the payment was due, how much the payment was, and the interest rate, right? Same with your house or your apartment. Square footage, number of rooms, number of bathrooms, the year make, you know, everything about it, your interest rate, your mortgage payment, your rent payment, you know, all of that. But the one thing that most people, for some reason, just tend to buy and not listen to and not think about is insurance. And that one thing, insurance, is what gives us the ability to live our life and, you know, take care of everything, drive that vehicle, have that house, have that apartment, right? So we need to show the importance of insurance to folks. So I set the stage with them. I let them know that we're gonna look at a couple different options, but on all these options, there's gonna be gaps and that that's what I'm here for. So this document is setting the stage and managing expectations. And then it also has a little script on the back, right? Want to make sure that this is all easy to use for everyone. In addition to that, let me show you another one. These are power statements. And if you're not using them, you need to take advantage of my experience because as a licensed agent, what we need to do is buy insurance for the big things, not the little things. And I get it, sometimes you just need the prescriptions, but we don't know what, where, when, or how something will happen, but life happens no matter what. Ladies and gentlemen, I just read, read all of those from this list. I sounded really smart. We got two pages of these that we borrowed from the internet. I don't know why it's not showing me the other page. Yep, here we go. Because the right choice is the one we just discuss. And most people tend to add accidental benefit to protect their families from financial distress. Many agents do not know what I know because I've been doing this for so long. And we both know it's not a question of no, but a question of when. Like, ladies and gentlemen, these are rad. And they work, okay? I just read all of those. So I'm going to stop my share. I am going to go to the Q&A. Is there a critical dollar amount that paid out if the amount deducted? From the yes. If we pay out on the riders, it is deducted from the face amount. That is a great question. Anti-money laundering, uh, can I, I, after this session, I have a question about the anti-money laundering class. Can I take that class outside of what your company offers so that I can get C credits and if so, saw through cap and they have several answers. Yes, uh, you'll have to send that over to us. If you want to know the um, place to know which one to get, let me give you my, again, 888-455. 7462. Call my office, ask for Lori or Jimmy. They will help. Um, where can I find the questions page you presented? Ladies and gentlemen, what we need to do is um, email. So email me. I can also send all that to Kenton. Um, and I can send all that to Mr. Steve Chatner. I keep typing in my thing wrong. You know why? Because you guys are watching. Um, I'm going to put my email there. If you want to email me, that's fine. 
Can life insurance benefits be used or benefits transferred to long-term care facilities as future payoff or services? Tom, that is a fantastic question. Obviously, the benefits, the living benefits that we talked about can, um, and we can go over in more detail, but as far as the arrangements with individual LTC facilities, that's going to be up to them and what their policies are. Again, we can talk about that in more detail. It is a great question. And we can actually get uh, some more experience from folks at the, the carrier that deal with LTC uh, to find out what their answers are on that to make sure that, um, that we really have it ha handled. Um, so I think there are no open questions. Um, we answered everything. Is there, I'm going to keep it open for another minute or so. Kenton, I don't know if, uh, what the protocol is now. Kind, sir. We're all good, sir. I really appreciate your time today. This is excellent. Oh, man. Thank you so much. It meant the world to me for being on. I really appreciated everyone. Kenton, again, thank you for your friendship, loyalty. Uh, thank you for that introduction. Um, I might have to just listen to that uh, to when I'm feeling low sometimes. Gosh, that was great. Um, okay, sir. You. you take care. I'll see you later this month. Yes, sir. All righty. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much. Uh, everyone have a great day. Ken, tell your beautiful wife I said hello. And uh, everyone have a, a blessed weekend, a, a wonderful Easter, a wonderful holiday, a wonderful celebration, and uh, look forward to working for all of you.